We have with us Savita Mahajan, who is a deputy dean at Indian School of Business. And she has been supporting the cause of uh, social rural and business model, both at a professional level as well as a, at a personal level. And most at a personal level because she has been frequenting uh, this Karga brand and then she has a beautiful story to share with us. And let's catch up with her. So, with her, so how long have you been the customer, I mean, the responsible customer of uh, Karga brand? <laughs> Not that long. Right. I discovered Karga only right. a couple of years ago. Very good. But uh, this particular you know, mm -hmm. textile form, etc. Right. So what is uniqueness to you? I mean you must have been it's used to. beautiful. Uh, I mean the you know mm -hmm. the traditional mm -hmm. designs. Mm -hmm. Um in fact I don't like it when they make modern right. you know, trendy. stuff, trendy, geometrical. Right. Right. That's mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. I think it's just beautiful to buy things which are the original motives, right. the traditional, you right. know. There's a story almost, you know, right. with every right. piece, right. Right. and uh, so I love it. Whether so, it's the crafts or textiles, and so therefore also that you know is it uh, somewhere back of your mind, maybe it's a conscious mind that you know the very idea of when you buy something, you are actually supporting families. I mean, you are actually on the verge of extinct. Yes, right? unfortunately, that's even more true now because most of this stuff and ordinary. <coughs> income person cannot afford Absolutely. you know they are expensive so it's for people like us right. who you mm -hmm. know can sort of afford to promote and right. you know, so right. uh, yes I certainly think so. So, so therefore uh, coming back to your question of being affordability so is there a way that it can be made affordable by increasing the scale of it? Because the whole, the very fact of handlooms is not scalable because right. you can do only so much right. in a year. That's it. Because right. it goes to the entire value chain, the entire process, the valuation process is different from a typical pottery where you can just manufacture, I think, hundreds and thousands in no time. Right. But being a handloom, so everything handmade. Right. But when you look at a, a car like some of these cars, especially in German, right. people are able to spend, or love to spend more money because it's really handmade. Right. So why not for clothes? It can be, but you know, I mean, so obviously cotton is less expensive than right, silk. Right, right, right. And you know, different types of silk right. are differently priced. Right, right. So, to that extent, cotton is affordable. Right. I mean, yeah, you know, definitely. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. But unfortunately, silk is just becoming very more and more expensive. Maybe it is becoming very exclusive. Yeah, but I, I, I really don't know what the issue is, whether it's the supply side in silk the fiber that is a okay. problem or, okay. mm -hmm. you know, because it's Absolutely. suddenly become very expensive. Very expensive. And uh, one last thing, if you have to reflect on the social part of it and then everyone in the society, maybe companies, maybe uh, institutions or whatever it is, and then definitely citizens, if you have to reflect on two or three important things that should be done so that you know, by supporting these products, you're actually supporting an, one is a farm itself, which is on the verge of getting extinct, and also, you know, making sure that there are hundreds and thousands of families who can be supported. So, two, two things that could be done across the society. Yeah. So, I think one is, of course, awareness. Right. Uh, so, you know, when some of us patronize right. these things right. uh, personally and also professionally. professionally. You know, for example, at ISB, we are right now refurnishing our residences uh, and I'm just buying local things, you know, whether Wonderful. it's Kalam Kali rugs very good. Very good. or basically, you know, and a place where ISB artists. makes a lot of dance. So then people mm. visit and they, Absolutely. you know, very ask where is it, etc. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, of course, is design. Mm -hmm. I think, and that's happening. Right. You know, one of the things with this, these kind of products very was contemporary. not necessary, mm -hmm. not, but something different each time. No? Right. How many times can you buy the ah, same absolutely. color combinations and the same <laughs> designs? Right. You know? so, so you can experiment with the traditional right. designs, right. Right. but in a different combination or something. Very good. So, so I think that's also happening. You know, you, that's in the where, last two years you have been seeing that. Yeah, very yeah, good, very yeah. good. So I think that that then you know sort of increases the demand for those exactly. products. Thank you so much and uh, we'll uh, take it forward to the next level yes. and that's about we really want to patronize as a Times of India as well as, as a part of Economic Times. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.